the Pope, leader of the Vatican, spiritual father of the Catholic Church. But that may not be all he is the father of. Tonight, we investigate claims from a young boy in Carmel, Indiana, who believes he is the son of Pope John Benedict Rand Paul Innocent the 3.15th. Uh, I'm Dwyle, and I'm the Pope's son. That's him. Welcome to Dateline. So I always felt like there was some kind of like divine intervention around me. Um, like for example, uh, like I can jump really high, like it's kind of like a superpower. Like I, like, like I can do stuff like that. So I always knew there's, I always knew there was like kind of something different about me. Um, and then like I, uh, one time this kid was bullying me, his name was Trent. He put a bunch of pens in my pencil case. And so I, I looked at my pencil case and I was like, what the crud? Why are there all these pens in here? And so I got really mad at him and I prayed that he'd get eaten by an alligator. And then lo and behold, uh, his, his dad got a job in Atlanta, so he had to move. So if that's not answered prayers, I, I don't know what is. Um, so then I, then I really started thinking, you know, like who, who is my dad, you know, and is he the Bishop of Rome? I mean, it's certainly possible. Pope sex is not an unprecedented phenomenon. Actually, popes had sex well into the 17th century, beginning with Pope I the I. Um, actually, the only reason popes uh, ceased having sex was it was simply too involved. You know, you would the pope would first have to re begin by removing the papal vestments, which um, in today's slang would uh, um, be uh, like the pope's drip. Um, so you would have to begin with uh, taking off the papal skirt. Um, and then you would, after that, you would sort of move on to the, to the papal poncho. Um, once those both are off, then you would be able to go ahead and remove the papal cardigan. Um, and you could also do the, the papal hat. The process of undressing the Pope is complicated. The process of determining paternity, even more so. We realized we needed to better understand the mechanics of human reproduction. So we spoke to Ima Kokzaka, professor of biology at Baylor University. Coitus remains the most popular and convenient method for conceiving a child. And what exactly is coitus? Anytime two consenting adults are seeking pleasure together, that is sex. When the erect male member is um, inserted into the vagina. Sex can be oral, dry humping. Sex can be cuddling, cuddling with tongue. Yeah, like, um... Partner Zumba, a little thumb rustle, using the kitchen sink at the same time. When two people are on a trampoline and they are so in sync that one person's landing propels the other into the air so high that they surpass the boundaries of the trampoline. That is an orgasm. Regardless of media controversy, the Pope's carnal knowledge has not phased religious groups. Even if the spiritual daddy of the Catholic Church did father a child, we will not be including that in our CDD curriculum. We spent millions on our hip hop parody music video Thrift Shop about staying abstinent, okay? I'm keeping on my pants, only about one hundred in my pocket. I'm, I'm not hugging, looking for a husband. Three meals are sex and frustration. His word is famously sex negative. Please turn to Leviticus chapter 7, verse 69. Every time you masturbate, a kitten dies. After months of our investigation, the most conclusive evidence we've received is from Barbara Simpson, who claims to have been in a romantic relationship with the Pope. John. <laughs> oh, he was a character, all right. We did have sex. Long, athletic, passionate. He actually gave this to me. While we were spooning after. Well, hey, leave the holy water alone! The Pope, however, vehemently denies the affair. We were finally able to sit down with the man himself to ask him once and for all. No, I, I don't have a kid. <laughs> yeah, I've seen the pictures, but I just don't see the resemblance. We don't look anything alike. <laughs> it's like it's like apples to oranges, you know, if the, if the apple and the orange just have very similar facial features is all. So <laughs> if he was my kid, why doesn't he have a smaller hat than my big hat? 
So answer, answer that one. The story continues to unfold next week on Dateline. I'll be the first to tell you. You don't have to have sex to have kids. Just ask my mom. This is anonymous, right? Like, you guys are going to blur my face, aren't you? The Pope? Have sex? <laughs> He's a fucking nerd. No. <laughs> be honest, would you have sex with someone named Benedict? I mean, unless his last name is Cumberbatch. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be damned. I would be damned. You know, damned and... Welcome to the church, like, what up, I'm ready to praise the Lord. Yep, I'm just hyped, just bought new devotional. Cross on the cover, sober, godly. Preacher's like, wow, that's extremely holy. Praising the Lord, what better fun could there be? Cover it all up, go away, nothing here to see. God and my girlfriends, yeah, boys cannot tempt me. Growing up for communion, the only body I shall receive. Yes! Oh yeah, I'm a child of God!